And I'm Larry Aker, the CEO of Advanced Conservation Technology, Inc. And we develop uh, and create and manufacture energy water conservation products, of which are coded and proved through IATMO and Uniform you know, Plumbing Codes. Uh, the product we're about to talk about today is actually our electronic demand control system. Uh, this is applicable for not only existing homes, but also new construction. Any building that has a hot water heater on it can utilize a system, and it'll save both energy and water as already tested and proved by the U.S. Department of Energy. They spent uh, approximately a quarter of a million dollars over a year and a half testing. The DOE funded it. The tests were actually performed by Oak Ridge National Laboratory, and the location, interestingly enough, was Palo Alto, California. The test indicated uh, uh, adapting our product onto homes that were between 70 to 80 years old. The reason for that is because almost every home in Palo Alto is an old home and they all had basements. Um, the study uh, lasted for a year and a half and the end result was that we were saving between uh, 4,000 to 12,000 gallons a year of water and between uh, 800 kilowatt hours to over uh, almost 3,000 kilowatt hours, uh, plus adding convenience. So as you know, if you save water and energy, then you've also reduced the carbon footprint. And if you're saving the water that's going into your home, you've also reduced the sewage processing that goes on, which is very critical today. And of course, if you've got a product that people like to use because it adds convenience to their lifestyle, meaning they're not waiting for hot water. They turn on a faucet, they got hot water, they like that, so they use it. That means the benefits of the water and energy savings are 100%. Because people aren't concerned about the water and energy savings as much as they are about the convenience factor. Our product also will add a life to the water heater. Tank water heaters will add about a 30% life to that water heater. And uh, on tankless water heaters, we add about a 10% increase in energy uh, effect, effectiveness. The reason is is because you lose, you use less hot water if you're able to keep your circulation within the system. Uh, because this is primarily a, uh, a PowerPoint, I'm going to turn this around. Can we follow you on another computer? Well, I, w I wish you could, but unfortunately I, I didn't set it up that way. So what I'm going to do Yes, that, that'd be great if you don't mind. What I'm going to do is, uh, because I have to sort of face the camera, and I sort of know what this says, what I'm going to do is kind of fast forward it. I want to, uh, what I'm going to do today is not just talk a little about the product, but I also want to show you something that we did in 1995. I was looking to conduct a study with homeowners that actually bought our product. In 1995, we arbitrarily took out uh, a series of our warranty cards that we received and we sent a five-page report to 30 folks, 30 different homeowners, and it was in like eight or nine different states. We just arbitrarily picked them so we didn't know who they actually were. We were asking them to do a study on our behalf. They received no nothing for doing this. Uh, I expected I might get one or two responses back, thinking that somebody will at least respond to give me some answers. And I'm going to show you what we asked for. The interesting thing is I got 26 out of 30 responses back. In detail. It blew me away. So what we ended up doing is calling these people and say, we really appreciate your responses, but why did you do it? And every one of them said, because we've wasted hot water for so long waiting for hot water, and we didn't know what, to, what we could do to solve the problem, and your solution solved the problem with just a few hundred dollars, and we don't know how it works. All we know is we got hot water, but we can't figure it out. So the answer was they were interested in doing the study to see, in fact, what it did. Now, what I'm going to show you here is I am going to have to see this a little bit. <coughs> Uh, is that okay if I sit down? 
They didn't tell me I was going to be on air until five minutes ago. I know. We'd like to surprise you. Yeah, if I break out in a cold sweat, you'll know why. Um, first of all, how big is hot water is, as far as your home is concerned? And I'm going to go through this rather rapidly, but I can tell you that hot water represents the second most single cost you have in your home. Heating hot water nationally is the second most biggest energy user. Heating air conditioning is number one. But nationally, water heating can be number one in a lot of areas where you don't have heating and air conditioning. Parts of California is a good example. Uh, well, you don't use it a lot, but you always use hot water. So that's fairly consistent, and overall it represents about 20% of your total energy use. If you recirculate that hot water on a continual loop system, 16 hours or 24 hours a day, that can become your number one energy user in your home. Bad idea. So you don't want to recirculate water. You want to get it there when you want it, but not circulate when you don't want it. We have a couple of different ways of doing that. This is called standard structured plumbing, meaning that this is typical of 97 or 98 percent of all homes. You've got your water heaters at one end of the house or some part of your home and your fixtures are at the other. Those fixtures at the other end are where you waste a lot of hot water. We've determined and the studies have indicated now we're fairly accurate that there's an average of about 7,000 gallons, 7 to 12,000 gallons a year lost down the drain waiting for hot water. That's a big number considering the amount of hot water that you actually use. That means you actually, in a lot of cases, may be losing more water waiting for the hot water than you do in actual use of the hot water. My wife's a great example. Years ago, kitchen sink used to be right over there. Wanted hot water, she turned it on. She'd be right over here doing something. I keep looking at that. That bothered me a lot. And I'd see steam coming up, and there's no bells that tell you you got hot water. You got to look at the steam, right? So I'm looking at the steam, and I'm saying, uh, God forbid I shut it off. You don't want to do that. She's got a knife in her hand. You, know, you don't want to do that. So I said, honey, you got hot water over there. And she said, y -y -y I'll be there in a minute, L literally, because she's doing something. Then when she finished, she went over and used it. Do you know how long she used the hot water for? About 15 seconds. But it ran for two minutes. So the object is, if you know it's there when you need it, then you turn the faucet on. That's the key. That's what we do. This electronic pumping system, which I'll get into more detail with, moves the hot water on demand from your water heater by pulling it, transferring the cold water that's in that line back through the cold water line back into your water heater. We're using the existing plumbing that's already in your home. Now we can do that because we're not going against city pressure. It's called static pressure. We're simply moving water from one area of your home to the other by using the same typical plumbing line. The pressure coming in comes in at the city here, and then it splits. Part of it becomes your water heater, and part of it becomes your cold water line. That T is where we move water back. We don't go against that city pressure. So the size of the pump system is dependent on the size of your plumbing the 90 degree angles and literally how long that plumbing is in your house. So we have three different models to be able to actively handle that. 